Just quickly ducking back at home. We're gonna quickly swap the troopies over. Josh's tires are a bit hard to use by day. We've got a bit of a drive ahead of us, so may as well jump in the new girl. Um, got a bit of a highway driver, a bit more comfy anyway. Another excuse to take my car out is finally got the new steady spotties on her, so can you give them a trust? Got a bit of night driving to do, a bit of spot lighting, so I've just got to make some adjustments to them and yeah, <laughs> so that they're not pointing up in the trees anymore. We're just out on the edge of the mountain ranges of the mid-coast region and we're looking for a species of snake that's probably one of the le lesser common species in our area. Um, we sort of get, they seem to be more prominent around this sort of fairly thick rainforest sections. I wouldn't say this species is necessarily uncommon, but they, um, they certainly seem to be fairly picky about the habitat. They prefer fairly thick rainforest sections. So that's where we are now. We're in, um, we're in a pretty good spot for it. I've definitely seen a few here over the years. Um, hopefully we can find one again tonight. It's just starting to get pretty much right on dark now, so we're gonna start start having a look. This species is nocturnal, so that's why a lot of people that aren't necessarily into reptiles probably don't see this species as often. As you can see, the frog activity is going mental at the moment, which is really good sign for tonight. Um, the species we're chasing does predominantly feed on frogs, so that certainly certainly sounds promising. <laughs> It wasn't long before we found our first snake of the night. This golden crown snake. Golden crown snakes are reasonably common and we already featured one in an earlier episode. So we kept footage minimal, especially after what Josh spots next. Dude, what? look, seriously, look up. How high? Right beside you. Literally right there in the vines. There's oh, a diamond just oh, there. That's sick. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> How's that? That's mental. That's, that's sitting so cool God, We just... Screw the crown. <laughs> <laughs> we just filming the crown snake. <laughs> and I just looked up and there's a diamond just looking at us. <laughs> well, that's much more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> sick. We'd seen other wildlife through the night, but activity was reasonably quiet and our target species was still evading us. Oh, there's a bandicoot. Sick. <laughs> there was a bandicoot. Bandicoot's gone. Already exhausted from a massive day diving, we were almost ready to call it a night, until suddenly, there it was, a Stevens banded snake. Stevens banded snakes are one of three members of the Hoplocephalus genus, a group of medium sized, front fanged venomous snakes restricted to the states of New South Wales and Queensland in Australia.
What makes this genus unique is its arboreal habits, which is reasonably uncommon for Australian venomous snakes. Although this guy was obviously foraging on the ground, I assume hunting for frogs, such as the ones we found earlier. But these snakes have all been found actively climbing with ease, and one member in particular, the pale-headed snake, I've personally seen metres up a tree, hanging vertically downward with only its scales holding onto pieces of bark, which is pretty incredible. The Stevens was soon sick of our presence and warns us with the flattened head shape you can see here, a typical trait known from this genus. So we respected its wishes and let it be on its way. Happy to call it a night after a massive day and night filled with cool animals.